Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another pick a card reading. In this pick a card reading, we're going to be figuring out, will they reach out? So before we go ahead and hop right in, I do want to say what's up. My name is Jess. Welcome to my channel and that I am offering $10 readings now. All that info you can find down below, including a link that will send you to another one of my videos. Just giving you guys a rundown on how I do my personal readings, but let's go ahead and hop right in. We have four groups that I have prepared for you guys, starting with pile one, two, three, and four, and let's get started on one. Okay, hello group one, welcome to your readings. So let's go ahead and see, will they reach out? So the first card we have is the full card in the reverse and winds of desire okay so group one the vibe that i'm getting from these cards is no this person is not going to um come back okay they're not going to reach out with winds of desire i do see that they're in a good spot right now they're probably single at the moment but i do see that they have other options as well that they are enjoying um, with the full card also being in the reverse, they could feel like, you know, I don't know if you guys were on and off or you guys had a thing in the past. Well, obviously, because you want to know if they're going to come back, but they feel like if they come back, it would be a foolish decision because the full card does talk about, you know, taking risks, taking leaps of faith. We have goddess of the moon in the reverse. So what I'm getting from this is that they are coming out of hiding you know this is my high priestess card so i feel like they are not taking a back seat to the situation anymore they're really trying to come into their power gain confidence back which i do see is happening for them here and just go off on their own or explore other options that they do have let's see what else wants to come out we have blessed okay so this is a time in their life right now, group one, where they're really just trying to do the right thing. They're trying to get their money up. They're trying to gain their stability back here. I also feel like in regards to life, they're just not trying to make um, foolish decisions. Yeah, we have thinker at the bottom of the deck. So they're trying to get right, okay, in regards to love and other areas of their life here. So let's pull another card. We have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So I don't know if you guys were in a marriage, but I do see that they are struggling without you here. The Ten of Cups for how, you know, somebody feels about you could be that they're doing better without you, but we have it in the reverse. So I still feel like they do have feelings for you, group one, but they just know that if they go back to the past, um, things are not really going to work out in their favor or this is just you know fear going on because we do have the high priestess in the reverse so they could not be listening to their intuition but I do see that they are very much focused on themselves at this moment here the ten of chalices in the reverse could also indicate coming out of illusions um, about this connection you guys had we have the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck and let's pull a couple more cards for you, group one. So we have the six of wands in the reverse. So they don't think that they'll come out victorious in this. Okay, they don't really see anything worth heading towards in this connection. This may have been something sexual, maybe just something on and off for you guys. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse, so there is a lack of passion here, and this to me just talks about somebody not coming through with a love offer here, okay? So they're coming to the realization of this connection. Group one, they still do have feelings for you, which I'm going to um, say about that, but that's all I have for you guys. So thank you so much, group one, and we're going to move on to group two. Okay, hello group two, welcome to your reading. So let's see, will they reach out? The first card we have is the Eight of Cups. 
as well as Rebirth. Okay, so these two cards, um, will they come back? No. That's the answer that I am getting here. And with the Eight of Cups and Rebirth, the Eight of Cups is a very transformative card. This is ruled by Scorpio, if I'm not mistaken. But I do see that there are things in their life that they are changing and leaving behind, whether this be an actual move, something big or small, or something more internal. But I am getting more internal here, where they want to make better choices. And I see that they probably have um, a family or just people around them that really depend on them. So they're thinking not only yes for themselves, but um, for those around them as well. We have door to value in the reverse, so they're leaving behind um, situations that, you know, don't make them feel good, okay? That don't add to their cup is what I want to say. Um, something with money here as well, so I'm not saying that you're a bad or toxic person part two, but if something's not working and, you know, it doesn't make the person feel good, then we just gotta wish them the best, so... And with door to value in the reverse, they're trying to gain self-love, okay? They're trying to gain that back here. They could be trying to get their money right as well. Um, they could have spent a lot on you or the connection or just something to do with money here. But with rebirth, they are going through it. We have the four of swords in the reverse. So yeah, they're not trying to stick around. They have finally came to some realization or they could still be stuck in some type of confusion in regards to this connection we have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck so i don't know if they're in a relationship or if they still um, are friends with you here you guys still follow each other on social media like posts so i am seeing that they still do have feelings for you group two We have round and round so yeah um you guys could have been in this connection with this person for a very long time and they're noticing some type of you know patterns here so they're really finally just deciding to let this connection be again i don't know if you guys are still going to be friends that's at the very least that i'm getting for you guys here they're catching their behavior here So we have the Ace of Cups. What was I saying about self-love? They're trying to um, give that back to themselves here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Taurus. Um, Ace of Cups could also talk about, um, you know, a love offer here. And we have Judgment. Okay, so actually with these two cards coming out, this person may return to you okay for some of you yes for others of you no so they could be leaving behind a connection or just leaving behind some type of confusion here okay so you guys could be dealing with a sagittarius and this person may actually come out with these last two cards so group two that is all i have for you here we're gonna move on to group three now Okay, hello group three, welcome to your reading. So let's see if they will reach out. The first card we have is the Eight of Pentacles, as well as the All-Knowing One. Okay, so with the Eight of Pentacles, I am seeing that this person is very much focused on work and they could be wanting to work things out with you, okay? They could be you know, wanting to try harder with the Eight of Pentacles. This card is all about hard work here. Or they could just be very much focused on themselves. But let's pull another card. We have the Six Chakra in the reverse. So what I'm getting here is that this person, I feel like is just very much focused on themselves right now. They're a bit confused about not knowing what to do with this connection. So they could be asking for friends um, asking for advice here. I do see that they want to work on this, but right now they could just be 
you know, laying low, laying back, focused on their money, their career, um, and just working on themselves here. So let's pull another card. We have clean it up. Okay. So yeah, they're trying to make space for new things here. So group three, what I'm getting, I don't think this person is going to come back to you guys. They could have a lot of other other options as well with the all-knowing one there's a bunch of people surrounding this man and I feel like he's just or he or she's just trying to um, do better in their lives work more on themselves and on their money at this time let's see what else wants to come out so we have strength in the reverse. Yeah, they're not trying to control the situation. They could also feel like this connection does not bring out the best in them here. Or this could just be that they're not wanting to um, move forward with this connection. I do see that they have their back turned with the Eight of Pentacles. And again, I am getting um, options that they have around them. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo as well. So let's pull a couple more cards. We have the Two of Swords in the reverse, so they could be coming to some final decision and conclusion in regards to this connection here. Whereas before, they may have been stuck. They may not have known what to do again asking friends um what they should do the emperor in the reverse wow so yeah with strength and the emperor these are two very controlling cards so i do see that they're letting go of control they could feel very unstable in their life right now and they could just be throwing themselves in their work here so that is all i'm getting for you group three Thank you so much for watching, and we're going to move on to group four. Okay, hello group four. So let's see, will they reach out? We have the seven of swords, as well as success in yoga. So what I'm getting here, I think this person is going to come back group four, but they have some tricks under their sleeves here, okay? I also do see that they are trying to find the right words and the right way to come at you here i'm not sure if you guys were having some problems or difficulties in this connection but in this seven of swords i like this deck i like this picture it's like he's trying to write a letter what have you but he's having writer's block and he's holding his head he's frustrated so they are kind of hurting themselves in some type of way but it's because they're trying to figure out how to come at you here and um, they're strategizing not in the best way so let's see what else wants to come out for you group four we have envy so yeah this person is envious of you here okay so i don't know if this is you know, a love connection, someone that tried getting at you, a friend, what have you. They're looking at what you have and they're, and they're jealous of um, where you're at. They could see that you are, that you have moved on possibly with success in yoga. You could have found out about some lies or deceits that this person was portraying on you here. And now they're trying to find the right words, but it's like they're losing. <laughs> They're losing group four. I probably shouldn't have laughed. That was so mean. But they're envious. They're jealous of you here. They're looking at what you have like it's the best thing ever. They're looking at you like you're the best thing ever. And they can't get to you, okay? We have exchanging gifts in the reverse. So I feel like they're going to try. And I feel like they're going to give up as well with exchanging gifts in the reverse. They may also try to, you know, give you things to make you talk to them or just you know kind of just really strategize on how you know kind of like you have to reply back so let's go ahead and pull one of these cards for you guys G 
Jesus, can I shuffle these? <laughs> we have the Nine of Cups. So this person sees you as wish fulfillment. I feel like this person could be quite selfish as well. This is someone who likes to drink or do drugs of some sorts here with the Nine of Cups. So with the Nine of Cups, this is like my yes card, my wish coming true card. So this person is going to try to come back. And I feel like you can see right through their masks is what I'm getting here. And they're probably coming to some realization about what they did. And with the exchanging gifts and the reverse, the ballerina is wearing a mask as well. So they're trying to come at you right. Yeah, with success in yoga, they have taken some time out and they realized what they did. Yeah, Seven of Swords again. Wow, so this is someone who lied, cheated you, um, you know, just flat out lied. And you could see right through them here. Or if not, then this person has done something behind your back, group four. We have the Five of Pentacles, so this person, um, either you're going to leave them out in the cold or vice versa here, but I feel like this is how this person made you feel, but also what I'm getting is that um, if you're over this person, what have you, or you find out something about them, they're, they're going to feel it. They're going to know exactly what they did, and they're going to feel just frustrated, they're going to feel envious and jealous, and they're going to feel kind of worthless with the five of pentacles okay so that is all i have for you group four i hope this resonated and be careful with this person so group four that is all i have for you here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next pick a card bye